LGBT news headlines from Pink 60. A federal judge has denied an appeal by the Trump administration to stop the enlistment of transgender people in the military. The judge said the vague claims made by the administration were not enough to warrant upholding the stay. Weeks after Toronto Pride declared itself half a million dollars in debt, Vancouver Pride has announced it too is over $136,000 in the red. Hikes in service costs and deferred bills from 2016 are being blamed for the deficit. Five months after it was due to premiere, Kirill Serebrenikov's Nureyev has opened at the Bolshoi Theatre in Moscow. The ballet was originally postponed after Serebrenikov's arrest and claims that the show broke anti-gay propaganda laws. Uganda's Queer Kampala Film Festival was shut down by police at the weekend after organisers went to great lengths to set it up in a disused warehouse. Official venues had all refused to host the event and armed police raided other secret venues on Saturday. And finally, nominations are in for next year's Golden Globes with Call Me By Your Name, Will and & Grace and Feud all up to win. Jessica Lange and Susan Sarandon are up against each other for Best Actress in Feud, a battle worthy of the original divas Crawford and Davis. Well, that's all from us for today. Join us again tomorrow for more of the latest LGBT news headlines. And you can find out more about these and other news stories by searching for hashtag Pink60 on social media.